Minister of Transport and Aviation, the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin, says the Department of Civil Aviation will be engaged in a comprehensive review of critical indicators in airport systems nationwide. The Mayaguana tragedy last Thursday has caused civil aviation to take an extensive audit of Family Island airports. Our Cyan Thompson has more from the House of Assembly. Transport and Aviation Minister, the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin, says emergency lights for the Mayaguana Airport have been acquired and installation will take place shortly. The government also plans to complete installation of emergency lights in all remaining public airports in the country. The, the Department of Civil Aviation advises that those airports are Stella Maris, Long Island, Fresh Creek, Andros, and Rum Key. The department also reports... <coughs> that emergency lights previously installed in Ragged Island and Deadman's Key in 2006 now require repair. In the case of Ragged Island, due to construction works at that airport, and the case of Deadman's Key, due to recent severe storm and flood conditions, those airports will be addressed. The minister told House members she was advised that for a period of years now, there has not been a proper maintenance program of the solar emergency lights that have been installed at airports in the country. She added that using vehicles to illuminate family island runways is an old practice that the country must do away with. This raises for many of our citizens, and including myself, serious policy questions about the future and the way forward for airport de development generally in our country, something governments in the way forward in negotiating heads of agreement with investors must give due consideration to. So Speaker, this tragedy has also placed in the public consciousness this practice of illuminating runways with vehicle lights for emergency flights on family island airports. Hannah Martin explained that in 2006, there was already a plan in place to phase out that old practice. During the 2002-2000 Christie administration, firmly determined would be eradicated in our country. Mr. Speaker, in pursuance of this policy commitment, a comprehensive exercise has been, uh, had been undertaken in 2006 by a team of public officers from the Department of Civil Aviation and the Ministry of Works. These office, officers traveled over a period of several months throughout the country installing emergency solar lights at numerous runways. The records of the Civil Aviation Department recall and remind me that the following air, airport, airports were installed with emergency lights during that exercise. For the ZNS Network News, I'm Cyan Thompson.